What's up guys, it's RJ with Road Celebrity. I really didn't want to do a video right now, but I was trying to watch an Alex Jones clip, Jones clip. maybe that was my first mistake, but he's been pretty good on following the globalist agenda and what's going on with like, you know, the one world government thing, which I used to think was a lot more hype than it was actually real, but now that I'm doing my own study, I'm seeing there's plenty of reason for... Um, belief that, that that's the direction that the um, the bigger powers of the world are taking things in. Anyway, the, the bulk of this video, real quick, is just that, you know, I was caught off guard and discouraged and, uh, you know, sort of embarrassed for Alex because of his ring kissing of Donald Trump recently. I mean, it's pathetic how bootlickery um, people get around election times. Um, and I thought for a second that with, uh, Alex Jones's more recent libertarian leanings, that this would be a, a time where he would start to, to sort of speak some, uh, consistent rhetoric around libertarian values and pointing out that there really isn't a libertarian candidate, nor will there really ever be, nor could there ever be in America or really anywhere. But, um, just the, the and I, I wanted to do a full treatment. I still might, but the the way that that Trump was given softball underhand questions on uh, on Alex's show the other day, and how Alex talks about Donald Trump almost what seems like every episode. It just it bothers me that that a don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not advocating for Bernie Sanders or any other candidate. It bothers me that that Alex Jones still believes that. A political candidate can solve the mess we're in. That alone is is sort of hard to to swallow um, or believe. And then beyond that point, the fact that Donald Trump could be that that guy to to you know help us out just sort of strikes me as it's one of the least more imaginable thing imaginable things. I think what happens is when we get into a time like we're in now, where there's just so much chaotic um, things occurring around the world. The people that haven't moved past looking to a great person or a leader for for their answers um, are still as eager than, as ever to, to find a person to solve all their problems. But when the group of people uh, from which we can choose, um, you know, it's not as if the people that we're choosing from are worse because the people we're choosing from seem to be terrible every, every time through, the, the options that are available. But... Um, the problems that the country faces, the problems that the world faces, get larger each time, such that it's not really a question of is the candidate ever going to be right for the job. It's it's the job's always getting harder, exponentially faster than the candidates could ever get better, and the candidates are never better for the people because the candidates are never dedicated to the people's best interests. Trump said it himself. He's always pandered to the power. Pay attention to that. He's always pandered to the power. He says, I paid both sides. I paid the left. I paid the right. He's not a man of principles. He's a man that seeks after power, and he's a man of ego. He's a perfect guy for them to let through, like a Reagan, and then corner, you know, and basically say, now you're in. You got what you wanted. Now you give us your time for the next four to eight years. You're going to put our agendas through. So anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to say that's all I have to say right now on this idea. Um, I'm keeping everything short and sweet right now until subscriber base grows up to the point where I can get more feedback on my videos, uh, where I can actually start to engage more in conversations with people and people can tell me, Hey, talk more about that. Uh, I wish you would have continued on this topic or that topic, or, you know, what, what are your thoughts on this or what are your thoughts on that? So thanks for everyone who has given me feedback so far. And, uh, I'd love to know what you guys think about the current crop of political crap <laughs> candidates. And if you think anything at all about, um, Alex Jones's boot bootlickery of Donald Trump or if that's just um old hat to you guys. All right, thanks for watching.